Okay, this is a 1 350th scale Russian aircraft carrier strike group and it's made up of a number of Russian vessels most of them from the Cold War the aircraft carrier is the Kuznetsov which uh, was built in the late 80s as you can see it's carrying a mixed air group of SU-33s, MiG-29s, and SU-25s as well as helicopters uh, they use the helicopters for the uh, early warning radar, AEW, as well as search and rescue and uh, uh, anti-submarine. Another tremendous vessel that the Russians built, several of them, was the Kirov-class cruisers. This is the Peter the Great, Pietrov uh, Kilovici, or something like that, but it stands for Peter the Great. And as you can see, it is a heavily armed uh, vessel that uh, displaces probably close to 30,000 tons. It's nuclear powered, it's a nuclear powered battle cruiser. You can see back in the back, it has a distinctive hangar that's underneath decks, but it's just got so many uh, short range, medium range, and long range missiles, hundreds of them, literally. And uh, it is made to defend uh, their carrier. The carrier itself boasts, as you can tell here, eight close-in weapon system, each one of them carrying uh, four missiles and uh, Gatlin guns, and there's eight of them, and each one of those has, I think, 16 missiles in reserve, and then it has these vertical launch cells for uh, anti-aircraft protection uh, on its own. And so the Kuznetsov is probably the most heavily armed for self-defense aircraft carrier on Earth. I've also got a Slava-class cruiser. This is a... Oh, excuse me. Where is that guy? He's over there. We'll look at him in a minute. This is a Uniloy 2 uh, destroyer, which is very heavily armed for anti-submarine, but also is multi-mission and carries a very strong uh, anti-air and anti-surface uh, weapons. You can see uh, those very large weapon canisters on the front end. Uh, all the ones on the uh, Peter the Great are vertical launch. And uh, they have some, as does the Slava that we'll look in here in a minute, uh, anti-surface missiles that have ranges uh, of hundreds of miles. I also have an Oscar II uh, SSGN. Uh, this is a, a submarine that, as you can tell, you get over here and take a look at it, carries uh, anti-surface missiles, and it was, it's designed to be uh, a vessel that attacks carriers. They have several of these left from the Cold War. Then the Slava cruiser, again, very heavily armed for anti-air as well as anti-surface. You can see these large missiles, 16 of them, up at the front of the of the vessel. And uh, it carries quite a punch and then has very strong anti-air defense. Now the two ships that are the newest are the Gorshkov class uh, frigates that they are building to place, replace the Udaloy class destroyers and the Sovremini class destroyers that were built during the Cold War. And as you can tell, it's a very modern 
anti-stealth design. It's one three hundred and fiftieth scale. Uh, Dutch Miniatures uh, offers this for sale. I then have a Yasin class nuclear attack submarine, which is their newest. They are very, very powerful, very quiet, and very dangerous. Uh, they rank up there uh, close to uh, the capabilities of the Virginia class. The problem the Russians have is they can't build very many very quickly. They've only built two of those frigates and two of these new submarines in the last 10 years. So their shipbuilding industry is hurting. And uh, if they can get that fixed, they have some great designs to put out. Like I said, this large nuclear cruiser uh, tips in at you know, close to 30,000 tons. The Slava is 12,500 tons. The Uteloy 2 back there is around 9,000 tons. The Gorshkov uh, frigate is 5,400 tons. And then, of course, the Russian aircraft carrier is around 60,000 tons. Uh, if you look at my video for the Chinese, you'll notice that the Chinese carrier looks very much like this. And the second one they built uh, was based on it. So the Chinese have two of these types of carriers now. They are newer and they have made improvements on the fighter aircraft. They have their own version of the Su-33 which is called the J-15 and it's a very capable uh, air superiority fighter uh, that can also carry air to ground or air to surface missiles. So here you have the Russian carrier battle group and uh, it's the only carrier that the Russians have. They keep talking about building a newer carrier design, perhaps even nuclear, but it just hasn't happened yet. Uh, most of these surface models, uh, including the carrier, are built by Trumpeter. Uh, and I have, of course, added all sorts of aftermarket uh, material, including all the um, railings and photo etch metal radars and whatnot uh, to these ships to make them very realistic. I do have a lighting system on the carrier. You'll have to apologize. I'll have to apologize to you because I don't have the battery hook up to it, but the hangar is fitted out and uh, it carries, uh, you know, several aircraft and helicopters in there that are being worked on. So once again, here's the Russian carrier strike group. Be a very hard nut to crack with these large uh, cruisers and uh, the carrier's own air defense. Of course, the United States would be launching and using anti-radiation missiles to target all of the um, radars and electronic systems driving the uh, air defense. Nonetheless, it would be a difficult task to take on one of these groups with particularly the nuclear cruiser Peter the Great or another one like it. They only have one other one that they are refitting, so there will be two of those. I think they only have three of those Slava cruisers. So, there you have it. Lately, the Kuznetsov was used in Syria. They made a big show out of that. And, quite frankly, they, um, you know, have the right to. They've, they've got a carrier. They exercise with it from time to time. And... Uh, it's a decent vessel. They just don't have enough of them or the vessels to support more carriers. So the economy for Russia has to really pick up for them to be able to hope to keep up with the United States and China, both of whom are rapidly building up 
their enable assets. So thanks for watching. Again, the Kuznetsov Carrier Battle Group and 1-350 at scale.